Hello there YouTube, it's Robby3, back with another kicking action figure review. Today we're finally getting around to reviewing our Hammond Collection 3 and 3 quarter inch Mattel Dr. Ellie Sattler from the original Jurassic Park. Now I normally don't collect the humans, really the only human Jurassic franchise characters I have are the ones that came with dinosaurs, and most of them are vintage except for Sattler and one you'll see later in size comparisons. But I had to get her because one, she was on clearance for like six bucks or something. And her accessories are insane to me. I usually show the box in uh, haul videos. I do haul videos, and that's where I typically show the boxes. But the, it is such a nice, sleek box, and, you know, I happen to have her in it. So, back to Ellie Sattler. I really like the logo for the Hammond Collection. It's actually really cool, like, preserving the legacy. or it, I don't know if that's even intentional, but it's very cool. Dr. Ellie Sattler, after encountering a sick Triceratops on the Jurassic Park tour, Dr. Ellie Sattler takes a tenacious approach and digs deep with those arms to determine what is ailing the distressed dinosaur. Uh, I will have a Hammond Collection Triceratops eventually. My partner uh, got a new Jurassic Park Triceratops, and he's giving me his Hammond because he doesn't uh, want it anymore. <laughs> but I will treasure it forever because it's a dinosaur. Anyway... Uh, let's pop Dr. Sattler out of package. Also, while she's still in the plastic, I wanted to show her to you. Because, and this is true, uh, she's just kind of standing in this real neutral pose. And I like that, because McFarlane and Hasbro and stuff, and even Mattel, other times, like uh, in their DC Universe Classics line, really like to pose up the figures in what they think is a dynamic pose, even though it's so restricted by the contents of the packaging that it's not dynamic. But uh, it often causes warping in the plastic. But since she's just standing upright and, you know, her accessories are real neutral, there's no warping, which is really nice. Now here's Dr. Sattler, fully out of package. Uh, her articulation, not bad for a tiny little gal. Uh, you got side to side on the head, bit of a wobble, not terribly much in the up and down department there, but you have in and out on the arms, forward and back. You have a, come on, uh, ah, single elbow bend, wrist rotation, full what and back. She's probably my favorite character in the movie. <laughs> forward and back right there. And then you got some waist, which is actually pretty good. I kind of expected, oh, I got it stuck. There we go. I kind of expected it to just be side to side like that, but it's a really good one. It does get stuck when you go back too far, but just the fact that it has that ability to go back so that she can look up at dinosaurs, that's really something, you know? In and out on the legs, forward a good bit, but, you know, when it goes out, it pushes out to the side like that because she has this plastic bottom. Uh, McFarlane and NECA are doing these like rubber covered bottoms so that the rubber just kind of bends and you can stick their legs back. But Hasbro hasn't figured that out, and I suppose Mattel hasn't either. Even though this is the first human figure I've gotten from Mattel that's in quite a while that isn't older, you know? But check this out. She has a double knee bend. You don't really expect that on these three and three quarter inches, a double knee bend. That's actually pretty impressive. She's got side to side on the feet and up and down on the feet as well. And she does have little peg holes for a stand. There's no pivot, but I didn't really expect one on a three and three quarter inch. Detail on paint, I think is fine for kind of an all ages three and three quarter inch figure. I know this is kind of seen as the adult collector line, but I think this would be fine for a kid. Uh, what age, you know, I think that it says eight and up. Yes, it says eight and up on the package. But, uh, you know, all parents know their kids better than anyone else. I think they can be the judge there. But legally speaking, 8 and up. Legally speaking, I'm saying 8 and up, okay? <laughs> just, just so we all know here. Alright, I'm not saying this should go to a 3-year-old, because it definitely shouldn't. But, you know, you know who your kids are, but 8 and up is what I'm saying. Do you understand? You understand me? Now, Dr. Sadler does have accessories. She has interchangeable arms. You see, she's got her regular rolled-up sleeve arms here with her watch that she probably lost in the Triceratops. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I like to think. But she also has this big old leaf. She was a botanist, after all, so I think that's a really cool accessory. It's nice. Just green. Not really painted up or anything. Just a nice green leaf. 
And then she has her poo arms with the long gloves. Uh, I've actually worn gloves like these before to uh, help give birth to a calf that was having trouble coming out. Yeah, it's as gross as you're imagining. Probably grosser, actually. But it's just, I saw the poo hands and I had to have her. I wouldn't have got this figure without the poo arms. That's hilarious. I think that's so funny and I love it. That is so, 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 so funny to me. Oh my God. But just so you know, these arms have the same articulation as the other arms. You can see here, you just gotta kinda turn them so they line up right. There you go. Same with this arm. You just have to turn the joints to face the right way. And then you'll be digging through that dung in no time. Not quite copper light yet. <laughs> oh God, that wasn't very funny. As you can see here, Dr. Sattler holds the leaf very, very well. That's not really wanting to come out. So perfect there. And the other hand is the same way of course, I don't expect interchangeable hands on a little three and three quarter inch for ages eight and up, but it's good that she can hold it so well. I also wanted to show you that the arms interchange very easily. They're not so loose that the articulation is hindered, well, or anti-hindered, I guess, so that it's, it's not loose, but and it doesn't fall out. She's actually a very well-made figure. Like detail and paint aren't super great. She doesn't have a wash or anything, but I, you know, three and three quarter inch and they're going to focus on the dinos, you know? They're going to focus on the dinos. I don't even know how many people are even really getting these unless they're doing like dioramas or a lot of figure photography. I actually got her for a series I was going to make that I decided to cancel. Maybe I'll talk about that more in length one day. That being said, I'm still really glad I have her because I would have gotten her anyway. Uh, I did get her before the series. I started writing it or anything because I wanted this. The series was just kind of a big justification for me. Look at that poo arm. That is so funny. Now for the part that I know you've all actually been waiting for. Size comparisons. Yeah? First up, I want to compare her with Kaiju. I know. I know that I sh really should only compare her with dinosaurs. But, you know, pretty much everyone I know that's a dinosaur collector is also a Kaiju collector. So I'm gonna show her with some kaiju. Here she is with the Playmates Godzilla Terrestris. This, this, you know, that's cool. And here she is with the Playmates Skull Island 2017 King Kong. Actually, maybe I should move her down some. <laughs> there we go, that works out. You know, she could be pretty neat with Kong. But yeah, if you display your dinosaur and kaiju stuff together, that's what she's going to look like with some of your standard 6-inch kaiju. Now how about some of your standard, more quote-unquote, educational dinosaur figures? I review a lot of these on my channel, like the Safari Caprosuchus. This isn't a dinosaur. Uh, it's a crocodilomorph. Uh, but still, it's pretty relevant. I don't know if there have been any of these in the Jurassic films. At least not heavily featured. Uh... I think they actually look pretty cool together. That could work for me, for sure. You know? And then we also have this Gastonia. It's a nodosaur, which is kind of a more specific type of ankylosaur that has the spikes in the front, not the back. This is one we know the real colors of. It was ginger. Uh, that looks pretty cool. I really like that too. I don't know how accurate it is, but it looks cool. It looks good. It makes me happy. So that's from Schleich. First one was from Safari LTD. Safari Limited, I think is how they say it. And the next one is from Papo, but it's sculpted and stuff to basically, a lot of the Papo figures are basically knockoff Jurassic franchise figures, like this green running T-Rex, which is probably one of my favorite uh, dinosaur figures in my collection, if not one of my favorite figures. It looks really cool with her. Once again, it's supposed to kind of look Jurassic Parky. Wonk. It's a bit of a pricey figure uh, for what it is, to be honest, but I still really like it. I think it's an amazing display piece. My partner and I each have one. It's beautiful. And it was a gift from a coworker, so I treasure it. Chomp! Just kidding. <laughs> they would never. <laughs> yeah, they look really cool together. 
And now you probably want to actually see her with Jurassic franchise figures, yeah? First up, here she is with some kind of kids Jurassic franchise figures. Here she is with the Claire and Dilophosaurus 2-pack that I got on clearance from Jurassic World Dominion. Now, she's a Hammond Collection figure, so she's a bit higher quality, like, articulation-wise and stuff, than this Claire. And so are her accessories and whatnot. But paint-wise, they're about the same quality. Here, let's bring them closer to the screen for you. I think they actually scale pretty perfectly. Uh, I cannot lie there. Uh, Claire looks like J.K. Rowling. She looks like she's gonna get real bigoted on me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, I think these figures work pretty well together. Claire's, like, a little taller and stuff, but, I mean, no more than a regular human could be. I don't know, like, the heights of the actresses, you know? And then here's the Dilophosaurus that comes with Claire. That's pretty cool. I think it's a little big for a Dilophosaurus in the film compared to her, but I don't really care because it gives it more playability for the kids, you know? And it looks better in my display this way. That's pretty neat. Now, next up, I want to show her with some of the Mattel captives, the 30th anniversary ones. They are kind of blind box figures. You buy these eggs and you don't know what figure's in it. I don't review these because I just kind of get them handed to me open and I wouldn't want to review them unless I had like a full set, which I don't. Uh, but I have shown them off in action figure hauls and I think it'd be good to do some size comparisons of them with her. Now, most of these captives are baby versions of the dinosaurs. Uh, so here she is with the baby Dilophosaurus. And that looks like it could be a good size juvenile, because I think what the regular Dilophosaurus would actually be like here, maybe. I don't know. But I think that looks nice with her. And then there's like a raptor straight out of an egg that you can get, but it's not going to scale with her at all. Uh, plus, I don't have it. I only have the gold one, and I, I don't want to show it. <laughs> so here's the full-grown raptor that you can get from the captive's egg. At least I think it's supposed to be a full-grown. Once again, I think it works better as a juvenile. That, that Dilophosaurus was definitely supposed to be a baby. But this one, I think, makes a perfect juvenile raptor for her. Perfect juvenile raptor. Really nice. But I think this sculpt is supposed to be the adult. Just to kind of pad out the lineup of the eggs. Very cool. Perfect juvenile. Here she is with the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom <laughs> Indoraptor. That doesn't work at all not at all dear lord he's like t-rex sized this was just kind of a big deluxe figure that wasn't really supposed to scale with anything this is a pre-hammond collection figure so it's not really supposed to scale with these little humies but you know a six inch human i think would go very well with this indoraptor just not the three and three quarter inch dr sattler and last but not least here she is with the first hammond collection figure that i ever got it is the Hammond Collection, you guessed it, Concavenator! Oh, hi, Naughty. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> Kitty cat's here. But, uh, it's cool, but it, uh, um, it's once again too big, but at the same time, it looks cool. Concavenator, I do not believe, was this big at all. But, as I said... Does it look cool? I guess so. I mean, if your kids are playing with these like this, they'll probably be more than happy with this size difference, I think. You know? So, I don't know how well she's going to scale with all the different dinosaurs and stuff. I don't have very many Hammond collection things, believe it or not. Most of the dinosaurs I collect are Safari, Schleich, Papo, that kind of dinosaur. The more kind of... They call themselves educational toys, but they aren't all like that. <laughs> I guess the Slice and Safari are pretty educational toys. The Papos are more like collectibles. But, yeah, I mean, I think she'll look cool in your dinosaur collection. Honestly, I think she looks better with my kind of more, quote-unquote, generic dino toys, like this Schleich Majungasaurus, the king of Madagascar. That's really cool looking, right? Like, she looks better with that than she did any of the uh, actual Mattel adult collector kind of figures. But she did look good with, you know, the three and three quarter inch Dominion stuff. But once again, I don't have a lot of modern Jurassic franchise figures. Most of mine are vintage and stored away because I don't currently have the room for them. So 
I actually think she works very well with my current dinosaur collection. So what are my final thoughts on the Hammond Collection Mattel Jurassic Park 3 and 3 quarter inch Dr. Ellie Sattler? I really like this figure. I used to collect a lot of 3 and 3 quarter inch. I really don't anymore. And if she wasn't on sale for like 6 bucks, I probably wouldn't have got her either. But that price combined with the poo arms, which I think is hilarious that they actually gave her figure those, is really good. She goes great with the one set of Dominion figures that I have. She goes well with seemingly most of my dinosaur collection. Most of the dinosaur stuff I collect these days, I think she fits in really well with. My Papos, my Limited, Schleich. Uh, not sure she scales the best with the other Hammond collection stuff that I have, even though I don't really have much of it. So I'm not sure I can really say she doesn't scale well with the Hammond collection because I don't have a lot of the Hammond collection. And dinosaurs varied so much in size, just like modern day animals, that if you really truly made size accurate figures of all <laughs> the Hammond collections, there would be some drastic size differences. But I do think they actually try to really give them differences in size, I've noticed, just in pictures online. But do I think she's a neat little figure? Yeah. If you're an adult collector who actually cares about the humans, I care about them as characters, I just haven't really cared about them as collectibles. That being said, she's a good little collectible. This is the first Jurassic franchise human I've bought that doesn't come with a dinosaur, and I'm happy with her. She's a fun little figure. I think if you do little dioramas or little YouTube series with toys, I think she'll be a great addition to that. And hey, your kids might like her too, ages eight and up. But that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, 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 bye for now.